Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim today inshallah by the grace of allah we shall be doing the fourth ruku of surah nur auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem oh believers do not enter other houses than your own until you have the approval of the inmates and have wished them peace this is the best way for you it is expected that you will observe it then if you do not find anyone there anyone there and do not enter until you have been given permission and if you are told to go back you should go back this is a purer way for you and allah has full knowledge of what you do there is however no harm if you enter houses which are not dwelling places but contain something useful for you allah knows what you disclose and what you conceal and o prophet enjoin the believing men to restrain their gaze and guard their private parts this is a more righteous way for them allah has knowledge of what they do o prophet enjoin the believing men to restrain their gaze and guard their private parts and not to display their adornment except that which is displayed of itself and to draw their veils over their bosoms and not to display their adornment except before their husbands their fathers the fathers of their husbands their sons and the sons of their husbands from other wives their brothers this is for believing women Allah says enjoin the believing women to restrain their gaze and guard their private parts and not to display their adornment except that which is displayed of itself <coughs> and to draw their veils over their bosoms and not to display their adornment except before their husbands their fathers the fathers of their husbands their sons and the sons of their husbands from other wives their brothers their brothers sons their sisters sons their female associates and those in their possession and male attendants incapable of sex desire and those boys who have not yet attained knowledge of sex matters concerning women also forbid them to stamp their feet on the ground lest their hidden ornaments should be displayed o believers turn all together towards allah it is expected that you will attain true success arrange marriages between the single men and women among you and between your slave men and slave women who are righteous if they be indignant allah will provide means for them out of his bounty allah has boundless resources and he is all knowing and those who cannot find a match should observe continence till allah provides them with means out of his bounty and if those who are in your possession ask for a deed of emancipation execute the deed of emancipation with them provided that you find some good in them and give them something out of the means allah has given you and do not force your slave girls into prostitution for your own worldly gains when they themselves want to keep chaste and if anyone forces them into it after such a compulsion allah will be forgiving and merciful to them we have sent down to you revelations giving clear guidance and cited examples of the people who went before you to serve as warning and we have imparted admonitions for the god fearing wa akhir dawana walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin